an explosion rocked and partially collapsed a massive bridge that connects Russian annexed Crimea with Russia on Saturday, a setback for Moscow's war effort that was quickly celebrated by officials in Ukraine. Russian authorities said a truck bomb caused an explosion that killed three people and temporarily halted vehicle and train traffic over the longest bridge in Europe, a multi-billion dollar project that opened in 2018 and is a physical sign of Russia's claim on Crimea. It's also a key supply artery for Russian troops. President Vladimir Putin signed a decree late Saturday tightening security for the bridge and for energy infrastructure between Crimea and Russia, and put Russia's Federal Security Service, the FSB, in charge of the effort. Saturday marked Period Action Day, a day dedicated to raising awareness to period poverty that persists worldwide and taking action. Advocates say awareness of period poverty is critical as the fight for menstrual equity continues. In the U.S., one in four people who need menstrual products today struggle to afford them, according to advocacy nonprofit Alliance for Period Supplies. And more than 20 states still tax period products, often as non essential items or luxury goods. This year's Period Action Day partnered with the Women's March because the two share the same weekend. Experts say there is hope for a future where period poverty is eradicated, pointing to increased action, proposed policies and more open discussions about menstruation worldwide. The NFL and NFL Players Association's investigation into Miami Dolphins quarterback to attack Avalos evaluation for a concussion found both independent medical professionals and team medical staff followed the league's concussion protocols, the NFL and NFLPA said in a statement Saturday. The biggest takeaway from the NFL's findings, the outcome in this case is not what was intended when the protocols were drafted, the statement said. The change to the league's concussion protocol, effective immediately for Sunday's Week 5 games, is the addition of the term ataxia as a no-go symptom. 